and welcome to one of the Tech Byte video by CMG. I'm Reza Malakuti, and in this video, I would like to show you how to perform nodal analysis in CoFlow. Nodal analysis is referred to a technique in which the wear production rate and pressure is calculated at a specified node. It is based on the principle of the pressure continuity, which says that there should be only one unique pressure value at a given node, regardless of whether the pressure is evaluated from the performance of the upstream equipment or downstream equipment. Graphically, the nodal analysis is presented by these two curves, the inflow performance curve and the outflow performance curve. The inflow performance curve is the pressure rate relationship of the upstream equipment, which is usually the reservoir section, and the outflow performance curve is the relationship between the pressure and the rate of the downstream equipment, which is typically considered as the wellbore. The intersection of these two curves defines the operating point, which is the operating flow rate and the pressure of the well at that specific node. These nodes are usually bottom hole or the wellhead, and these nodes are usually the main points that are associated with the measurements in the field, which eventually can be used to validate the nodal analysis estimations. Now let's see how we can build a wellbore model in CoFlow and then do a typical nodal analysis study. From the study explorer in here, we create a new case and I would call it nodal analysis. Build a wellbore model first. In the uh, fluids guided task, we add a uh, PVT guided task and we choose the universal black oil approach from the list in here. I would call it BO, standing for the black oil. Click OK. And in the first stage of that guided task, I enter the phase densities, 30 for the API and the 0.8 for the specific gravity of the gas and 1 for a specific gravity of the water. Click OK. And from that button in here, we validate the stage. If it turns to green, that means we have successfully populated that stage with the required data. We have skipped the black oil PVT data in this example, and in the black oil matching, we usually enter our reservoir temperature, which in this case is 120 degrees Fahrenheit, and also the gas oil ratio. In this example, the gas oil ratio is 800 SCF per STB. The correlations would be available in here to choose from the library, which they will be used for the calculation of the oil, gas, and the water properties. If you click on show plots in that part, these curves will be updated based on your inputs of the uh, PVT and the selected correlations. Click OK now and then validate this stage. In the next step, we go to the wells and uh, build our wellbore model. By click to add a guided task, from the list in here, we select the first one, Integrated Multi-Well Construction. Pick a name, and then click OK. Now in this guided task, we've got a couple of stages. In the first stage, we define our well trajectory. Click to add a new well. You can name a well in that part. And then from the trajectory part in here, we change the trajectory type into deviation survey. Now in here, if I add a row, and if I have got my deviation survey in the Excel sheet format, uh, I can copy those uh, data from the Excel and then just uh, paste them uh, as a table in here. 
The ambient temperature table in this example has got uh, two measurements at uh, two different uh, depths, which is based on the measure depth. Click to add a row. The first measure depth of uh, zero, which is presenting the uh, wellhead point, is 60 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. And the next one is at 10,000 feet of uh, 120 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Click OK and then validate the stage. Now we go to the perforations and equipment stage to define our equipments inside the well and also the uh, IPR model. The fluid model uh, is, uh, needs to be defined in here. Uh, we uncheck the box from the reservoir because we don't have defined any uh, reservoir model in this example. Instead, we choose our fluid model from the PVT stage, which we call the BO. Now we define our equipments in that uh, middle part of the window. Uh, click to add a new section. By default, it would be tubing, but you can have access to the other equipments if it is necessary to put them in your model. The end measure depth of the tubing is uh, 10,000 feet. Now on the right hand side, we choose the high fidelity for the pressure drop model. We select our correlations, uh, bigs and brill from this uh, list in here. And then the absolute roughness would be set to uh, 0 0.001 inch. Our heat transfer model inside the well would be selected as thermal option, where we define a constant overall heat transfer coefficient of 3. And then the tubing diameter of uh, 4.5 inch would be selected in this example. Now we add the uh, next section, which is the uh, perforation. Now we select the perforation from the list, uh, change the measure depth to uh, 10,000 feet. Now we define the radius of the perforation, which is uh, 0.5 inch. In the reservoir section, we uncheck the box for attached to the reservoir as we are going to define the IPR model for the perforation. The reservoir pressure is 5,000 PSI, the temperature is 120 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's an oil reservoir with the reference phase of oil. The gas oil ratio is set to 800 SCF per STB and zero uh, water cut. The IPR model could be defined uh, from here. Click on that uh, button. And now we can see the IPR models uh, uh, that we've got from this list. Uh, we choose the oil productivity index with the value of 4 STB per day per PSI. We now click OK. And then OK. And we finally again uh, validate the stage for the perforations and equipment. For the nodal analysis, we uh, skip the other stages in this uh, guided task. And we click on that nodal analysis uh, manager tool in here to start with our uh, nodal analysis study. In this window, you can select uh, any number of the wells uh, if you have defined them in your uh, co-fellow to perform uh, the uh, number of uh, nodal analysis studies uh, on them. The list has got only one well, uh, the well A, which we have just defined together in the co-fellow. Click on that uh, option to create a new uh, 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 nodal analysis uh, study. Uh, the gas oil ratio and the water cut has been already captured from the well bore model stage and uh, the uh, well head pressure is 500 uh, psi and the rate at the node uh, would be in terms of the oil rate standard conditions 
Now you can either click to add a number of uh, values in here of the rates, or you can use the autofill option. Provide the minimum uh, rate values and the uh, maximum uh, rate value. With any uh, number of data points, we select a 10 with the uh, type of the linear option. Click OK. And then by pressing the OK button in here, uh, we see that the nodal analysis uh, would be performed. Uh, we see the results of our nodal analysis in terms of uh, plotting the inflow performance curve and the outflow performance curve, uh, which is the red one. And by checking that box for the operating points, we see the intersection point, which is referred to the estimated rate from the well and the bottom hole pressure. By click on that uh, plot data in here, we can also see the values of the rate and the pressure which has been uh, used to set up the inflow curve, the outflow curve, and also you can see the uh, uh, value of the operating point in terms of the uh, both bottom hole pressure and the oil rate. There is also a contributions a plot tab in here where a uh, user can see the, uh, the contribution uh, from each uh, pressure drop element, for example, the pressure drop due to the hydrostatic effect or uh, friction effect or acceleration inside the welding. I hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for your time and attention.